All right, so my topic is space exploration. Specifically, should we continue to spend large amounts of money on space exploration? I'll let you guys write that down. All right, so to start off, I'm gonna do a little quiz for you guys to see if you know anything about space exploration. All right, first question. How much money did the United States spend on space exploration in 2016? Um, 98 million. Way more. <laughs> Emma. Six billion. More. Whoa. 20 million. That's close enough. 19.3 billion. So that's actually only 0.5% of the government spending. So it's not a crazy amount, but still quite a bit. Um, yeah, and relating that to the, how much military money we spend, it's $639 billion a year. So, next question How much does a space suit weigh? Probably like 30, 40 pounds. Way more. Um, 120. More. Dang it. <laughs> 250. More. 400. Less. Less. Um, 260. More. 300. Less. 290. Close. Yes. <laughs> 280. 280 pounds for someone. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Um, next. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next question. Was the landing on the moon fake? Emma. No. Damn. That's up to you. So, yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, that's the one I want. All right. So many cons that have to do with space exploration that people have is that we have lots of problems on Earth already, so people think that we should maybe spend more money on our problems. And as of 2018, 38.5 million people in the U.S. alone lived in poverty, so that's about one in every 10 people. Um, a lot of people also believe that we should explore our Earth a little more, such as our oceans, because only 20% of our oceans are actually explored, so that means there's still 80% that can be explored. And then people also believe that it can just be a waste of money, I guess. Um, some pros of space exploration that I found are that it helps advance technology. So raise your hand if you have a phone. <laughs> all right, raise your hand if you have wireless headphones. All right, all of these are from space exploration because they help advance technology here on Earth. And then it also helped um, advance artificial limbs because um, being in space is really hard on your limbs so for astronauts they've done a lot of research and it helped advance the knowledge that we have on that to create artificial limbs um, it also protects us on earth to have to know more about space because if there's like an asteroid that's gonna hit earth or something we can do we can try to do something about it I don't know what we're gonna be able to do but we can at least inform people that it's coming and then being in space or learning about space informs us about the great unknown. All right, this is a very interesting little graph that I found. So NASA did a survey, and they were just trying to see what Americans thought was their, like, should be their top priority of what they are doing in space. So the number one is monitoring key parts of the Earth's climate, uh, climate systems, and then second is monitoring asteroids, objects that could hit Earth. So a lot of people, are for space exploration as a way to protect people here on Earth. And then the least of them are like, search for life and planets that could support life, send astronauts to Mars, and sending astronauts to the moon. I understand why sending astronauts to the moon maybe wouldn't be important, because we've already done, we've already done that, and there's not much else we can do on the moon. But I actually would have thought that sending astronauts to the Mars would have been higher, just because maybe people I'm more interested in traveling to another planet someday or want to learn more about Mars. All right. Here's a little video I have. With the recent growth of interest in space, we've seen aerospace companies developing space planes to create an industry in space tourism. Explorers, we have expanded our scientific knowledge, and because we have expanded our knowledge, our civilizations have advanced at an exponential rate. The world that we've created today is the result of several millennia worth of knowledge, much of which has been built through exploration. 
In general, exploration gives us information, and information allows us to understand our universe more thoroughly. Despite being mostly empty, our exploration of space has provided us with an abundance of information. Over just the last few decades, we've determined the approximate age of the universe. We've found water on Mars. In 1992, we detected the first exoplanet. Between the years of 2004 and 2005, we discovered three new dwarf planets in our solar system. In 2014, we discovered that Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, was hiding in an underwater ocean. There are several examples of this, but I think you get the point. While these bits of information are interesting, and the data can be used to further study the universe, the machines we built and the methods we use to gather this information provides us with a more direct reward, technology. Due to the specialized tools needed to explore space, technological advancements are often made while developing these tools. Some prominent examples of this include camera phones, wireless headsets, memory foam, computer mice, and even laptops. Many of these examples have become items we use on a daily basis. You may even be using some of them right now. With the help of these technological advancements, we built the International Space Station. The astronauts who work on the ISS are able to do experiments that aren't possible on Earth due to the difference in gravity. These experiments not only allow us to better prepare for future space explorations, but they often work on projects that can potentially save lives. Exomedicine, the study of medicine and microgravity, is a good example of this. Gravity has an effect on a molecular level, so working in an environment where it can be eliminated from the equation allows discoveries that would otherwise be impossible. Medical advances due to space exploration include improvements in breast cancer detection, programmable pacemakers, and laser angiography. Right. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go there already. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that video was pretty interesting. All right. So you may be wondering why Christopher Columbus is on a space exploration presentation. However, I think it relates in many different ways because he got the courage to ask many different kings and queens for money to explore something that has never been explored by Europeans before. So he had the courage to do that and he found something pretty amazing that wouldn't have been um, discovered if he didn't ask for the money and the ships and stuff. So that kind of brings a good point. If we do not um, send or spend money on space exploration, who knows what we could be missing out on in space or what we could find. <clears throat> All right, my opinion, I think space explor exploration is very important for advancement of humanity. Um, we should not cut the budget, but we should not expand it either because there are a lot of problems on Earth, but it's still very important to explore space because there's so much more that we can learn. And um, the reason I got into this topic actually is because I love watching space exploration and just uh, documentaries about space with my dad. So yeah, that's why I picked this topic. And these are my sources.